What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today I am doing a video that was requested by one of you in the community and it was for games on Game Pass or free games that um, are pretty easy for gamer score. Quick, easy, whatever you want. But uh, I made a list. I spent about an hour this morning making a list of what games take around a little all less than 10 hours. And uh, there's a few I'll name that are just over 10 hours, but they're super easy. But um, first, before we get to Game Pass, I wanted to just start off with this in case you didn't know about it. DPS Idol. It's a very basic card game and it is on uh, Xbox and Windows, both updated to 2000 Gamer Score. And it is a pretty simple, quick completion, So, and it'll probably get more updates in the future. So. Um, I just thought I'd let you know about that, but that's a free game you could pick up um, on both your Xbox and your computer. But now, we'll hop into Game Pass here, and the first game we have on our list, we'll start with the shorter ones. I'm going to sort by, uh, can we sort? No. Okay. Well then, oh no, you can. If we go to game, if we go here, and we go to... Uh, I don't know where it is. We're probably just gonna probably just gonna go back. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I have seven updates, which is cool. Uh, yeah, we'll just go back to Game Pass. <laughs> um, all right. So the first game we have then is a new game to Game Pass, Bluey the Video Game. This game takes about two hours. It's not great, but. Um, it's not terrible either, and yeah, you could get it done in like one setting. It takes about two hours. Um, next is DayZ, which we got right here. This game's been on Game Pass now for some time. I don't know, I'm assuming like, at some point it's got to leave, but um, it's a pretty quick completion. I guess you can get it done in like an hour, but you need to be on a specific server or get some sort of code. I haven't really looked into it, but... Um, you can get it done really, really quickly if you did some research about it. Um, next, I just want to mention Dead Island 2. Very fun game and very new to Game Pass. Um, I just got all the achievements in this yesterday, and uh, pretty great game. Um, next, we got Doom 64, so we're already here. We're scrolling the wrong direction. Doom 64. Unfortunately, all the other Doom games take like 50 hours to complete, but this game has some sort of cheat code that you can put in. And you can get it done in probably an hour and a half, I'd say. So pretty, pretty good for that. And Doom, Doom is a pretty fun game on its own. So there you go. Uh, next we got down here Escape Academy, and this game you can also get done in under two hours. It's a pretty easy game. Um, it's pretty easy. You, I don't remember too much about it. I think this is pretty much just like you go room to room solving like puzzles and stuff and I think you can play two players as well so maybe do that because that that would kind of be fun but this game is not it's not boring but it's also not the funnest and if you follow a guide you can get it done in under two hours but without a guide it'll take a little longer because you'll have to solve the puzzles on your own. Um, next here we got Gang Beasts. And I also just realized I'm going in the wrong order. So these are, I have games that are even shorter than this that we'll do after I'm done this list. Uh, Gang Beasts, where are we at here? Is Gang Beasts not on here? Am I blind? Oh, it is. There it is. <laughs> um, yeah, Gang Beasts can also be done in probably like an hour and a half to two hours. Um, all of the achievements in it are just miscellaneous things to do on like specific maps and stuff so um yeah you can get that done pretty quick and easy uh next is a fan favorite and it's been out on the it's been out for a little while peppa pig my friend peppa pig uh it's been on game pass for a couple months now but uh yeah you can do this in about an hour and a half too it's also super repetitive but nothing terrible and you could get it done in one sitting just like bluey um, next, another game made by the same people, and we got a handful of them, so we're just going to go through all of them while we're here, is the Paw Patrol games. So the first one is the, uh, this is the Paw Patrol Saves the 
Adventure Bay. Yeah, this is this one. So this one is quick enough. You can get this done in two to three hours probably. And uh, I think, I don't 100% remember because there's like five Paw Patrol games, but looking at this picture, I think this is the one where you have to fly and the flying is awful. But besides that, it's nothing terrible. Uh, beside it, we got Paw Patrol World, which is a even quicker completion. Um, it just came out and it, uh, I, I, can, I, it's not, no, okay. It's not a quicker completion because completing the game, it's quicker, but getting, so there's one achievement. You have to get all the pup treats and none of the levels to my knowledge. I've been playing for like two hours now, maybe hour and a half. And, um, I found nowhere where it shows how many pup treats you've collected. And there's an achievement to collect all of them in all four areas. So I don't know. And there's over a thousand because I got the achievement for a thousand in just one area yesterday. So um, I, I don't know how you track that. I don't know if you can track that. If you can, let me know. But uh, oof, it's, it's, a, it's a doozy and that'll take you a while. But besides that, not awful. Also, you can't spin the camera for some reason with the right joystick, which is awful. Uh, now, Paw Patrol Grand Prix, on the other hand, this is like a 15-hour completion. Maybe a little less, maybe like 13 hours, but um, it's a racing game, so it's nothing like really hard, and you can just set yourself to easy and just absolutely demolish the competition. I remember running this game, and I was like lapping people every race. Which isn't fun, but if you do these two games and the other two games, then you're going to want to do this one to complete your Paw Patrol series until they make a sixth game. Um, but yeah, there's your Paw Patrol games. Next, we're moving down the list a little bit to V. And I bet you you know what we're doing here, if we can ever find it. Here it is. Fenba. This game's a pretty okay game. Um... It's pretty much just cooking, and it takes like an hour to two hours to complete. Maybe an hour and a half, I wouldn't say two hours. But um, there's only one hard achievement, and that's not to make any mistakes while cooking. But um, besides that, pretty easy game. And um, it's pretty also straightforward game. It's, uh, it's a good little game too, I like the story behind it. And um, yeah, the, honestly, there's just the whole, it's a good game. It's a good game. But uh, next beside that, we got Unpacking. And um, this game's been on Game Pass now for quite some time. It's honestly a pretty fun game too. And this will take you about an hour, maybe a little more than an hour. All you gotta do is unpack all the boxes and move some stuff around. And then there's like little hidden clues that you gotta find in each level for an achievement. But um, this is a pretty short game too. All right, next, since they are all in alphabetical order on each list, we are gonna scroll right back to the top and start in the C's for this one. So these games are under an hour. These games are almost instantaneous. There's only a handful of them, but uh, we're starting with Cooking Simulator, but not Cooking Simulator on Xbox. Cooking Simulator on PC only for some reason. And that's because of the, um, you put in um, game commands or whatever, and then you can just have them give you every achievement. So you can do that pretty much instantaneously on the PC and get 2000 gamer score for that. Um, next we got a game which is not a full completion, but it's 425 gamer score, and that's Dicey Dungeons. It's also the same kind of deal. You can go right to the main menu, enter a six, uh, I guess a six digit code, which is just through the dice. You have to put the dice in a certain number order, and um, then you can unlock 425 gamer score instantaneously. Um, after that we have Minecraft which is uh, way down the list. And I just realized too that these are not in order. <laughs> but that's fine, bear with me here. This is the first one I've done, all right? Well, we'll be more prepared next time because I'm gonna probably do more of these every once in a while, like every like five months or whatever, I'll make one to uh, kind of keep you guys updated now whenever Game Pass adds some new games. But uh, yeah, next is Minecraft and you might be like, well, it's not really that easy to complete, but it is. I have a world, and a lot of other people have this world too, that you can just hop into and um, 
you can kind of just pick and choose what achievement you want. Um, it's not it's not an instantaneous one like this. I probably shouldn't have put this on the quick list. This will probably net you like maybe I don't know three hours, but because um, there's a lot of achievements in that game now. I think it was 125, but. Um, it's a world that everything's literally just set up for you. You press a button, you get what you need to get the achievement, and then you just do it. It's super, super simple. Um, I've 100%ed it like three times. And um, yeah. But uh, if you need the world, let me know. I can send it over. Um, I think, anyway. I'm not 100% sure how this works. It's a little different than the game we're going to talk about next. But um, also, I just dropped my list on the ground, so that's good. But, um, yeah, let me know and we'll see if we can figure it out. Uh, next is a game that I've had and has definitely blown my channel up for the better. Uh, and that is Grounded. I have put out three videos. They're probably the most popular videos I have. And um, it's, still, it's still a thing. I can still give you the world. And I don't know if I can get you all the achievements anymore. But because I have only two of the worlds, but um, I can get you a minimum of, I think it's 2,000, 2,400 gamer score, I'm not really sure, but something around there. You can get almost all of them. Uh, you could also get all of them, I don't know, I really don't know how it works anymore, because I, I don't, obviously I've done it so long ago, and I just send it to you guys now. Some people tell me it works, some people tell me it doesn't work, so I don't really know. But um, either way, I still have the Grounded Worlds, and this is a really quick completion. Um, now next is a game I didn't know anything about until this morning, but we got in the S categories, which is a little lower, we have uh, this game here, Stranded Deep. Also, this game kind of looks interesting. Uh, we got Stranded Deep, which apparently you can complete in 40 minutes, but I also found out that the game is randomized, not for a hor like not in a horrible way, but like just where you spawn, like an, uh, the island that you're on is randomized, and the resources that you get are randomized. So I don't know how different that is, like how that makes it harder, but it's a survival game, so it's probably pretty fun. But you can apparently get this game done in under an hour, which is nice. So if I figure it out, I'll uh, update you guys on that. But uh, now we move into the longer games. We got games that are three to four hours. And we start back up at the top. Potentially. Uh, another game I didn't know anything about, A Short Hike. Apparently you can do this in around four hours. And I again, I couldn't tell you anything about it, but apparently you can do it in like four hours. <laughs> Um, now another game you can do in three to four hours is ARC, because you can still do the console command thing, and the only reason it's three to four hours, I believe, in my mind, is because there's an achievement called Zoologist, or Master Zoologist, or some shit like that, and you have to tame every single dinosaur on the ARC. So you have to spawn in each individually, every single dinosaur, and then you have to tame it and it's just there's so much typing <laughs> so i think that's why it takes that long but besides that i don't think it takes overly that long um but yeah you can still do console commands with that and then if we scroll down here to the c's again i haven't heard this song in a while uh we got coffee talk which is still on game pass coffee talk episode two which uh, coffee talk games are pretty quick and easy. They uh, the first one was free with gold too, um, so you may have both of them, and they're about yeah four hours, three four hour completions. Nothing terrible, but uh, yeah, if you want to give that a shot, go for it. Uh, anyways, we're moving on to six hour games, and there's only one of them on here because we already talked about the Paw Patrol games, uh, and that is. This game here, Spirit of the North. I don't know anything about it, but it looks, it honestly looks really cool. It looks, it looks cool. I like the cover of it a lot. And uh, yeah, you can do this in about six hours. Um, 
yeah, I don't, I don't really have anything else to say about it. Um, another game just while we're here too, SpongeBob Rehydrated. SpongeBob uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated just, just got added like a day or two ago. And um, I also thousand pointed this game and it's pretty good. So I would recommend go playing it if uh, you haven't yet. It's literally just a remake of uh, the one from, I think it was GameCube. Um, but yeah, it's just a remake and it's a good game. And uh, yeah, easy to thousand point, but it takes a while. Uh, next we have, back to the very top. And then we're going right down to the bottom after this. We have a little to the left. <laughs> Um, this is about an eight hour completion, another game I know absolutely nothing about, but, um, yeah, you can give that a shot if you want, um, but it seems, it seems okay, these games seem okay, and then we're going all the way back down to the bottom into our T category, and this is a game that has also been on Game Pass, um, where is it? Been on Game Pass for a while now, and I don't know um, how much longer it will be there, but Totally Reliable Service is on Game Pass still. It's been here for a while, as I mentioned, and it's a fun game. I played this with friends before, and you would probably want to do that too. It's a fun, like, free roam, open world kind of game, and you can get it done in about eight-ish hours, and, uh, yeah, it would be a blast, probably. I had a lot of fun playing with friends, so if you play it with friends, too, then, uh, then you could probably enjoy it while you get your achievements. Quickly, I want to see what this is. This game kind of looks good. This looks like the diner in Dead Island, too. Um, anyways, we got two more, kind of, two more games. Uh, because this one here is a package, and I know I already passed it, so I don't know why I'm scrolling. Uh, it's all of these Walking Dead games that are on here. There's like, what, seven of them? Yeah, there's seven of them. This is the only one that's kind of difficult, because the achievements aren't just beat, like, the first area, beat the second area, do this, do that. Um, you have to actually do specific tasks, so I never played this game. <laughs> but, um, Frontier, uh, Michonne series... Um, and then season one and two are all really straightforward. Um, you get all the achievements from just playing the game. They all take like 10 to 15 hours, but, um, you could just power them out in like a week if you wanted. Just do nothing but play Telltale Walking Dead. But, uh, yeah, the final season is the only one with achievements that are missable, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, and then our last game on the list today, which is another longer one. But it was also out with gold a while ago. It is this game here, Celesti. It uh, it's about a ten-hour game. I guess I've heard before you could use cheats. I don't know if that's still a thing or ever was really a thing. I could have been lied to. But uh, yeah, this game was out with gold. It's still with Game Pass, and um, it's it's a somewhat difficult game in my mind. But um, yeah. You can do it in about 10 hours, but that's the list I compacted today. I would focus on those earlier games that I mentioned and are like under two, like two, two or less hours, maybe even like the four hour ones. Like, like I said, Coffee Talk's not bad and Arc isn't bad either, just the last achievement sucks. But um, there's the list we've compacted for March of 2024 for Game Pass. And hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know down below in the comments if there's, or well, what ways I could make this better. Um, or what you'd like me to change the next time I do this. But, uh, yeah. Also, let me know what games you want me to play on the channel, because I mentioned in a previous video that I want to start playing more games just, you know, casually, whenever there, especially whenever there's not really many achievement guides to make, just so that I'm still getting stuff out to you guys and having content for everyone to watch. But, um, yeah, let me know down below what you'd like to see me play or what guides you'd like to see me make on the channel, and I will catch you all next time. Peace out.